Hello and welcome back to another merchandise review from White Album 2. Now we're going to be moving on with the official manga series onto volume 4. Volume 4 is the finale of the manga, so very exciting that we've made it this far. And because White Album 2 was originally a video game which had multiple different endings, it's kind of interesting to see which one they decided would be like the true ending in this case. I won't spoil it right away, but let's go ahead and jump into the book. So here we have volume four, again, drawn out and written by 2C equals Garoa. We have Kazusa here on the cover, again with the snowflakes theme. You can see the Christmas tree in the background. So if you've already played the game, you know that around Christmas time plays a huge role in the entire series. We have a little cover leaflet here, and it's just saying how it is the series finale, the coda. This is the comic version. Now, with this version of the book, it actually came with a teeny bonus, and I love my bonuses. So this is a full art postcard of the cover, which is really neat. It's kind of nice, and it's not flimsy paper. It's actually like a nice hard paper, nothing on the back, but I just, it's very cute. You could frame it, put it on a nightstand, whatever, or keep it in your book like I do. <laughs> so opening up the final chapter, we get a little bit of fan service of Madi-san, which is never a bad thing because I love her so much. We've seen pretty much everybody else. We already saw Koharu and Chiaki, so now Madi-san gets her own page, which is nice. I love her little cat. It's so cute. We have Garoa's little mascots, the turtle and the bird there. Adorable. So, moving on to the heartbreak. This, this whole story is so emotional. So we have the character page yet again, the main trio, the three side heroines, and then all of the side characters, which I'm sure we all know by now. I'm sure if you're watching this, you already knew beforehand, uh, but it's just a nice refresher between volumes for people. So the story kind of moves on. We have Takeya and Io grilling, <laughs> grilling Kitahara as usual. And then our beautiful heroine, Setsuna. Oh, it's so good. And it's so sad. And of course, Io is trying to force Setsuna to come to terms with her own feelings because she's been kind of stuck in this rut for so long. The university rut, the... I'm gonna run away from Haruki, I'm scared to be hurt again, kind of rut. It's sad. The whole thing with Setsuna is sad. We won't be going through every page, but I just want to kind of give you an overview of what this manga is to inspire you to go read it on your own. I highly recommend looking it up and checking it out. If it's available for purchase in your region, please, please give it a buy, support the company, because these are not very expensive. They're about 660 yen each, so just a couple dollars per volume. You could own the entire series for less than the cost of a large pizza and drinks. What's better than that? Sensitive being adorable. And the phone, this phone. If there's anything that's super important to this series, it's that and how to keep playing the guitar for her. This was when she was being very indecisive she couldn't make up her mind. Did she want to be with him? Did she not want to be with him? It was scary. So they just talked for hours and hours every day while Haruki practiced the guitar and she simply listened. I mean, it's cute and romantic, but it's really um, childish. And that's basically what Io was, you know, bugging Setsuna about. Was like, you need to move on. You know, we're not teenagers anymore. We need to get over it. And then Setsuna kind of coming on to Haruki in his apartment. Finally, she thinks she's ready. But Haruki says she's not. And he can tell that she's not. So he just plays the guitar for her. And I think that's very sweet of him. He cares about her feelings. Regardless of your thoughts on who Haruki loves more, who he should be with more, he does care about both characters, both main heroines, so much. Which brings us to the Valentine's Day concert, which brings back a lot of memories for them both. This is arguably the most important scene in the final chapters of the game. 
And he ends up getting together with Setsuna after, finally, after all those years, he finally managed to get back together with Setsuna. And the art, again, is beautiful in this. It's really nice to see it play out scene by scene, because especially towards the end of the game, a lot of these chapters end up being so text-heavy, so thought-heavy with Haruki's internal monologue. Seeing it drawn out in a manga kind of makes that a lot more concise and also gives us really nice visuals to go along with it. So that's a plus to reading the manga, saving a lot of time. So Haruki ends up seeing Kazusa and, wouldn't you know it, ends up kind of betraying Setsuna. It's so sad. He can't help himself. He could, he could, honestly. I mean, quite frankly speaking, what he does is terrible. But, man, poor Setsuna. <laughs> I feel so bad for her. But they do a very good job with the emotion. The emotional impact in this manga is very strong. Even though you can't hear the characters crying out loud, even though you can't hear their sobs, which honestly always makes me cry, the manga does a really good job with putting that all together. Like, I dare you to try to read this without crying. I don't think you could do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> but maybe I'm just a baby. My point, though, is that they do a really good job with this. And they don't need 100 hours to do it. So the concert ends up happening. Haruki's still trying to fool himself, being together with Setsuna in his own apartment, but obviously things aren't working out. He embarrasses himself in front of Setsuna's family because he can't commit to telling them that he's engaged, which is so embarrassing. It's, it's a little bit pathetic at that point. Like, you need to make a decision. Thoughts of Koharu, thoughts of Chiaki, thoughts of Mari-san, because... His friends helped him out so much along the way. And honestly, it's important. It's so important to get those outside perspectives that Haruki has here. Because otherwise, it's hard to make proper decisions when you're only going based off what's happening in your mind. The famous concert is starting, but Haruki has that sickness, that illness, every time he's in public without Kazusa. And at that point... Setsuna is about to become missing. So this is the final conversation which occurs before that. He says, you know, I have something to tell you. And she just doesn't want to hear it, clearly. She's very upset. And she ends up running off because she wants it to be the three of them. And they all know at this point that that's not possible. And so Setsuna disappears. She disappears for a while. Her family is worried it is not a good time. It's so bad. She ends up meeting with Kazusa to kind of, not really give her blessing, but just to say like, hey, like, we could be the three of them. Kazusa's trying to say, well, no, it's just going to be us two, and threatens to cut her own hand, because that's her piano hand. She's nothing without the piano. So to forgive as part of her repentance, she was going to wreck her piano hands and Setsuna stops her. And she doesn't even know why. Clearly it's because she loves her and they're good friends regardless of what happened between them, but so sad, so, so sad. So Haruki doesn't end up making it to this concert in this ending. And this is different than a lot of the game's endings. In a lot of the game endings, you could go to the concert or you end up going together with Setsuna, the way the manga takes is he doesn't go to the concert at all. He is searching for Setsuna all this time and eventually finds her, and they kind of come to the agreement that, hey, we're breaking up officially. Finally, it's done. And it's so sad. God, I feel so... I hate this. I hate how sad White Album is. I mean, I love it, but it's awful. So directly after the crying sets in a scene, it's a little bit of an abrupt shift, honestly. I, if I have one complaint about this book, it is that particular scene. It goes from emotional setsuna immediately over to Haruki's at the airport with Kazusa. Which is just... Ah, I don't like that scene shift. But here it is. He's at the airport. They bid their farewell to Yoko. 
and Haruki promises to always take care of her daughter from here on out. And he says in the end, he left his old guitar in his old apartment by accident. And that's the end. That is the end of the White Album 2 manga series, which only covers but one route you can get in the game. So it's not like this is the whole true ending. And fans will have such big arguments over what the true ending is, but that is only one of them. So, commentary uh, by Maruto, Fumiaki Maruto, who was the content writer for White Album 2, uh, just saying he really loved the manga. His favorite character actually uh, ended up being Koharu because Koharu was such a bright and lively spirit compared to all the depressed main characters. So that was kind of a cute little comment there. Uh, and then Nakamura Takeshi, who was in charge of the original art and producer of White Album 2, the visual novel, the game, uh, he was saying it was just nice to see the representation of all these characters and everything in a work that he himself didn't draw. So that's kind of nice. He was able to be a fan of it on his own terms. We have the final image of Haruki and Kazusa together. Of course, Haruki vowed to never play the guitar again, so we don't think he's going to be producing much more music from here on out. We do, however, the final page see Setsuna with Haruki's old guitar. Which makes us wonder what happened there, and they never explain it, which I kind of love. Like, did she go back to his apartment and get it? Is she so well... Did she get over it enough to be able to play his guitar without, like, bawling her eyes out? We don't know. That's what I'd like to hope. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I hope. Uh, and then just the final credits of the manga. And that is the end. Now, this is the final chapter. They actually bumped it up to 800 yen. I do wonder if it's just because it's the final volume, so they assume people would pay the upcharge for it because they're invested in the story. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe that was why. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me on this merchandise review from White Album 2, and I will be doing more merchandise reviews as well as reviewing the official novels, the text version of White Album 2 in the future. So I hope to see you there, and until then, I hope you take care. See you!